This is a fiber called dogbane. It's a longer fiber and it's softer. Um, it's a little easier for people to work with when they're first starting. Um, I'm starting the twist on here and I do the same thing. My right hand away from me, my left hand towards me until it wants to do the curly cue and come together. But this helps you visualize what's going on is somebody can hold it this way and this is how you do also make ropes similarly. But I'm making a 45 degree angle which makes this work in this technique. I'm pulling and making tension and I'm spinning both of the elements with my hands to the right and then Malika can start feeling the tension and she takes that tension up as it's being spun. So this is that is exactly what the cordage is happening. When I'm doing this in my hand, when I'm doing the leg rolling, I'm rolling my hand, my hand's doing this twisting, keep holding on to that, my hand's doing this twisting is what makes it happen. Put your finger right here for now. And so one hand does the spinning then my, I bring them together like that so they're tightly twisted and then when I roll back that creates that twist so that's what's happening under my hand when I'm doing the leg rolling um, so we'll do that again so if, you, if you're just making it this way not which is an easier way for people to learn and you can have even one person on each one of these if you can't do the double twist with your hands I spin my hand over I'm letting it spin I have to let the end spin free there has to be a release if they're bound it, would, it won't work if I give them a holding here it wouldn't work, so I'm spinning, getting them twisting. So an image of the leg rolling is you hold it here. If you hold here, that would be where I would be holding it in my hands. I'm twisting up, so what my hands are doing are what my one hand would be doing on my leg. At the end of the twist, when they're tightly twisted, I bring them together, super, super tight, so they're parallel. Don't let the energy go, though. And then I roll them backwards, and they twist around each other. So that's what's happening with the leg rolling. But you don't, you, know, you don't tend to do it when you're doing, you don't do it that way when you're doing this style. This style, you just keep releasing. See, so she has to release. If she stopped, if she didn't twist, this would jam up and it wouldn't want to go anywhere. So I have to make the release happen. So I keep twisting, coming down to the end. And keeping that tension, that 45 degree angles, if I do that, it's not going to do it right. If I bring it too close together, it comes together too soon. So the tension and that angle is what makes the whole thing work. And that's it. And it holds itself together. Okay, so to start the twist with this fiber, which is dogbane, it's a much longer cord, I twist my right hand away from me and my left hand towards me until I store that energy, make it come together like a curly cue, and that's the beginning of our string, and it won't come together, but to show what's going on here, Malika's going to hold the fiber, and what's happening is I am twisting both of my strings to my right, which is that direction. She's facing me, so she is going to take up the twist and go to her left, which is the opposite direction. But everything is always moving that direction. Um, so I'm twisting them away, and then it's very important that I keep everything even. I wouldn't do this where things are really uneven because I wouldn't be able to maintain a good control. I keep my hands the same distance apart from the junction. I use the same amount of twist, and I roll and I release. I have to let this energy release. A lot of times people will do like that and hold it. Nothing's going to happen when you try to twist if that happens. So you hold it like this. I'm spinning both of them to my right, keeping them, and I can feel the tension. She has to fairly often twist to her left. And one other thing here is if she keeps twisting and I stop and I don't have that stored twist, do you see how it loosens and stops being cord? Her, my twist has to happen before her twist. I have to twist this and she, and she can feel it. My twist is what creates her twist, so we're actually working together. And I work fairly close. I keep that nice 45 degree angle. If I, in doing this, if she either lessens tension or I do that, it's not gonna work. If I bring it in too soon, see, it tries to come together too soon. It's this 45 degree angle with good tension and pull. And I'm manipulating them, I'm rolling them and then grabbing with other fingers to not let it untwist, but I'm, I'm letting the twist release off of the end of the cord, and so is she. She's letting go with her hands each time and creating the twist and letting the twist go. If either of us were binding the ends, the bound energy would not be able to do what's how It wouldn't be able to be stored. It wouldn't be entering the cord and causing this to happen. So I keep everything really even, very twist. Again, I'm twisting to my right always, and she's twisting to her left, and that's what allows it all to fly together and make the string.